tonight about Ron Wilson's Ponzi scheme, which cost scores of investors millions of dollars. The court appointed attorney trying to recoup some of the assets wants to pressure Anderson County's former administrator into giving back money he made while the scheme was still operating. WYFF News 4 investigates Mandy Gaither is live and local in our Anderson newsroom tonight. And Mandy, the documents show Joey Preston made a lot of money from Ron Wilson, right? A profit of more than $1.2 million, according to this document filed last week. I mean, who's going to write? While investigators and Ron Wilson himself have told WIFF News 4 that Wilson orchestrated on his own the Ponzi scheme that resulted in 798 victims losing $57 million, there were people who helped bring in investors into Wilson's company, Atlantic Bullion and Coin. One of those, according to federal documents, former Anderson County Administrator Joey Preston. WYFF News 4 Investigates obtained this petition to the court filed last week. It says Preston invested $192,000 with Wilson and received $1,410,000 in payments back. Betty Ashmore, the court-appointed receiver who's working to get money back to victims, is now petitioning the court, hoping a judge will order Preston to repay the money he made. Others got more, uh, more funds than, than that. Some, some people recovered millions of dollars from Mr. Wilson. And are you going after them as well? Ab absolutely. Ashmore says his office has already settled with dozens of investors who got back more than they invested and has filed five lawsuits against those who wouldn't settle. This filing against Preston is the latest attempt at getting money back, although Ashmore says there's still no timeline on when victims might see some money, which would only be pennies on the dollar of what they invested. WYFF News 4 Investigates did try to get in touch with Preston through his attorney today, but haven't heard back yet. Also new in this case, there was a court order authorizing the sale of a farm in Lawrence County, which was bought with victims' money. It'll be sold for $570,000, and proceeds from that will go towards that general fund for victims as well. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4 Live in the Anderson Newsroom. All right, thank you, Mandy. Highway